So what goes on in microbiome development? Well, it, it, you have uh, a few stages that go on and it really is around diet. So the first six months of life, the baby should be exclusively breast or formula fed and with in, solids introduced around you know, six months of age. And in that first six months, you have a, a, a microbiome that's dominated by one or a few types of these special bacteria. And these special bacteria are supported by, you know, sort of the prebiotics that are in the, in the mother's milk. And that's important for immune development. Then around six months of age, the baby starts to get exposed to, you know, foods. This is, you know, referred to as weaning. When they get weaned off breast milk and onto foods, this starts to change the microbiome. The type of microbiome uh, that develops becomes less affected by what the mother um, transferred from it and becomes more affected by the types of food that the baby is receiving. So then from you know, six to 12 months, the baby is gradually introduced more and more and different types of food and the, the microbiome changes the, the types of bacteria that are able to eat the food that the baby's eating. And then at you know, 12 months of age, the baby should be on you know, a, a full sort of diet that the family sorts of, sort of eats. And then the microbiome from that first year to the second year then starts to stabilise. And by around two or three years of age, the baby's microbiome resembles the same type of microbiome uh, of an adult.